Hello everyone, this is Alejandro and in this tutorial we will talk about a new feature that we are releasing today which is the boolean operator. So now you can create booleans on Spline and as you can see here, uh, booleans allow you to create subtractions or intersections of different 3D shapes. That opens up new possibilities about what you can build. So in this tutorial we will see how to create these simple shapes and how you can edit these shapes. So let's begin. Alright, so Creating a boolean is actually quite simple. So in this scene that I have here, I have a couple of objects, right? So here at the bottom, I already have a boolean object. And here uh, on this side, I have two rectangles, which are both extruded. So you can see they have like some extrusion. And one of them has um, round corners, which is this one here. So you can see it, I can change the round corners. So what I want to do is that I want to subtract this rectangle, which is more like a tube at this moment, from this right here, right? So we can have a hole in this um, little cube here. So what I can do is that I can just select the two objects and then I go here on the sidebar. I can see there are three buttons in here. So the first one corresponds to subtraction, which is why I want right now so let me just click that you can see here right there I already have my boolean object so if I click on rectangle 5 and I move it you can see that I have my boolean already reacting to what is happening right so that's basically how you can create your boolean objects um, if you select the boolean object you can also change to a different type of operation so for example let's say we can say that this is going to be an intersection so now if i move my rectangle here you can see that it's basically cropping because it's the intersection of those two shapes right and i can even like make it bigger so maybe you know this is something that you want to create this type of shapes like this you can use this approach to subtract shapes from other shapes so for example if i reset my camera here and then i create like a sphere and i also going to give this like a blue color or something right maybe i can duplicate my, my sphere here so if i if i select the two of them and i subtract the shapes you can see i have the same result right and so now if i move the sphere in the top you can see it's going to be subtracting the one in the middle right another thing that you can do is that you can animate the object in here so you can have an actual animation so for example if i create a new state for this object and maybe in this new state um, my object is like this then um, i can create an event here so i want this to be repeated um, cycling so then if i play this animation so it's going to be doing just that you can see quite easily you can create an interactive boolean operation that you can even animate Another cool thing about booleans is that you can have nested booleans. So let me explain how that works. So let's say for example that I create a sphere here and this sphere is also going to use the blue material. So I'm going to move it here. So right now the sphere is intersecting, is intersecting this object. So if I, let's say, select these two objects and then I apply the boolean subtraction here, you can see that now I have a new boolean object that contains a boolean object plus the sphere. So if I move the sphere, it will be the same. It's actually intersecting with whatever this object has. So you can see that it's actually quite interesting what you can accomplish because in this particular case, I am basically uh, doing a subtraction of another subtraction, right? So. This is uh, one of the powerful things about booleans. You can really get really crazy about this and start doing some really wild stuff. Another new feature is that now you can merge geometries. So for example, if I create a new cube here and then I assign it like a blue material and then I command D to duplicate or just command drag. And then um, if I select these two cubes in here and I press the merge command here to merge these geometries. Now I get uh, one single geometry with uh, all of my structures retained, which means that if I go to edit mesh and I click on this polygon, I can move this polygon and you can see that it's basically maintaining the same uh, geometry. So this is very helpful because if I increase the subdivision here, 
you can see that I essentially have two different objects merged into one. This is a feature that makes things easier when you want to assign, for example, materials and you know that you have a bunch of geometries that will be using the same material. And that will also optimize your export because then we just need to process one single object instead of multiple objects. And that's it. That's how you can create uh, booleans on Spline right now. And you can do a lot more if you play around with the different settings and the different values so hopefully this is going to be a very useful tool for you so please go there and try the different options and share with us what you're building all right see you next time bye bye